Alright, uh, it's been a couple days. I went and ground up a couple levels. Um, level 30 now for everyone. Uh, yeah, I just used the uh, those bouncing guys that came down just uh, down there. Uh, they give uh, 60 experience each. Uh, unfortunately, you don't end up taking uh, that many more uh, EXP to uh, level uh, as you go up. Uh, it stays at, I think the highest was like 500 or something for the level 30. Uh, so it only took a couple hours or whatever. Uh, yeah, unfortunately I gotta go through, I guess, a couple boss fights. So hopefully uh, today I can finish this off. Uh, I think I might as well kill him first. Uh, the other guy's more dangerous, but I think that guy's uh, got significantly less uh, HP. Yeah, I'm, I'm hoping the levels I gained were you know, enough to make a big difference. I think I was a little 22 or something when I uh, fought them last, so uh, hopefully. Oh, that's annoying. I don't really want to be using my healing items just yet. That's good. Uh, hopefully with only one of them na attacking now, uh, I should be able to revive Bowser and heal everyone up.
Okay, good. I can, uh, I could have saved after that, after all. Uh, let's see if Toad's still around. want to double check my items. Uh, probably really don't need the max mushrooms. Uh, same with like the bracer, I don't think it was really that useful. Uh, might as well get rid of that. Uh, the seed, I checked, uh, that's for getting some hidden weapon, but uh, I'm not going to bother doing that. Was the ice bombs and rock candies? They'll be, I don't know, okay, useful. Uh, so we'll get rid of one of these, anyways. Uh, yeah, I, I wish they sold uh, like royal uh, syrup. Correctly, all I have to do now is uh, Smithy's two fights. I don't think there was any other boss fights. I think that did uh, significantly less damage. I thought it did something like 90 before. I think he's only got like 2,000 or something HP. So I think we each have about 50 more HP than before.
think it's worth it killing the little guys. The uh, smelter just remakes them too quickly. Uh, okay, yeah, it was better just keep hitting Smithy. Yeah, this is definitely going a lot better. Uh, it took much longer before to even get to this part. I've got lots of flower points left too. Okay, good. Yeah, I didn't want to waste the uh, picking up. I wanted to kind of save him for Peach, but uh, I also want to get him as much damage as I can while he's uh, in the wizard form. Alright, uh, yeah, if I can keep Peach healing now, I guess we should be good. Uh, I think the tank is the only one that has the one-hit kill uh, magnum attack. So we should be good uh, until that happens, unless he uh, decides to hit Peach twice or something. Probably fair if you would have been fine there, but I'm just not sure what Shredder does. Uh, you know, if it's doing some debuff or something that I'm not seeing or whatever. Uh, although I think it's probably just removing uh, buffs. That would be, I think, the most likely.
Oh yeah, I did look up on the uh, wiki. Apparently it's, uh, when you get the level up bonus, uh, there, each level has like a best uh, stat to level up. Uh, that's why sometimes you get like 1 HP and sometimes you get 3 HP if you do the HP. And same with the other stats. So it looks like I didn't uh, level up uh, ideally. I think you're supposed to be able to, if you do it right, uh, get everybody to 255 HP. Uh, so yeah, they're not, uh, yeah, they're not as strong as they could be. No one else is hurt. Then that way he at least survives long enough to get fully healed. Yeah, this is definitely going much better than before. Uh, I think there were several times when I fought him previously that I ended up just in loops of uh, healing and reviving and dying and uh, not really doing any damage. Uh, and I was burning through all my items pretty quick. He hasn't been turning into the wizard uh, very often this time. I 
last time I fought him, he turned into the wizard several times, and often a few times in a row. Uh, okay, the purple just seems to be poison or something. Okay, good. Uh, I hope that's his last form. Alright. Uh, so Gino was a star all along. Right, I think it showed that when we met him. Uh, yeah, I'm still not sure I really understand all the hype for Gino. Uh, he kind of, I don't know, he had like, what, two lines during the whole game? He was like, hey, uh, I'm from the Star Road, come, like, Help me fix it. And then at the end, he's like, okay, you fixed the Star Road. That was kind of the extent of his uh, I don't know, contribution. Like, Mallow had much more character and stuff. Uh, I don't know if maybe, maybe because I didn't use him, maybe there's more, uh, I don't know, like some side story mission you can do with him, or. Uh, I don't know if any of the cutscenes depend on which characters you have. Because I did for a while have Mallow in my party, so maybe I saw more Mallow uh, related dialogue or something. Uh, I'm not sure about that. It was neat seeing Bowser though, I liked, uh, I don't know, just seeing him, like, talking to his, uh, minions there, and, uh, I don't know, kinda added to him. You know, he's not just some, like, maniacal bad guy, you know, he's like, oh, okay, you can, you know, uh, like those guys that were in the shopkeepers or whatever, he's like, yeah, whatever, you, you know, do what you gotta do. You know, come back to the Koopa Troop when you're ready or whatever. Oh, Yoshi's. Yeah. I 
Did I go to that place? I... I must have... That was back at the beginning of the game where I... Maybe I missed that? Anyway, yeah, overall, like, it was... <laughs> That's funny, they get together. Uh, yeah, overall, it was good. Uh, I didn't like it as much as Paper Mario or Thousand Year Door, but uh, it was still... It, it was almost as good. I think the... Uh, they look better, and I like their combat system a lot better. The... Uh, uh, you know, they still have the action commands, but they're, uh, I just like the formulas a bit better where, I, yeah, I've mentioned it several times, but like the, you know, one plus one attack means plus one damage, and, uh, kind of, if they're simpler like that, you kind of can properly strategize, you know, like, uh, you know, a plus two defense buff, you know what that's worth, whereas if it's, you know, some piece of armor in this that gives plus 10 defense, it's like, okay, what does that do? What's that actually worth? Uh, Paper Mario also had a lot more, like, you know, different things you could do, so you could really, like, customize. Uh, although I guess it is nice having the different characters. Uh, I, Paper Mario does have all the different helpers, but... Uh, they feel a lot more just like kind of side accessories or something. Like you feel like you're equipping Mario with a specific character rather than having multiple characters. Uh, I'm liking this. Uh, the uh, it had the same like charm and humor and stuff as the other ones, uh, which was good. Yeah, I would like to see them make another uh, Mario RPG, or even just another Paper Mario, but uh, kind of a bit closer to Mario RPG. Uh, same combat and stuff, but have uh, have Mario RPGs like you know multiple characters. You know, they could even bring back like Gino and Mallow, maybe, or uh, you know, just different weird characters. Uh, it was nice having Bowser on the team. And Peach, like just something a bit different, rather than always Mario rescuing Peach and stuff. Uh, yeah, it would be cool to actually have like a a big Mario RPG game where you had Mario and uh, you know maybe like Mario and Luigi to start, and then uh, I don't know, you could recruit like a whole pile of different Mario characters, just have it be like everyone, you know, like Mario and uh, Mario and Luigi, and then you get Peach, and maybe Bowser, and then uh, maybe Bowser's got a mechanic where he can like hire uh, different Koopa Troop characters, uh, you know, Koopas and Shy Guys and stuff, and uh, Peach can bring different Toads to fill out the other party slots, and then uh, you know, like Wario and Waluigi could be like kind of hidden optional characters, and uh, you know Yoshi would be there, and uh, something like that would be pretty cool. I just realized most of the enemies and stuff in this, well, a good portion of them aren't the typical Mario characters. Like, there was the sharks and that, uh, you know, bearded guy in the tower. Uh, all of Smithy's enemies, of course, were, uh, kind of like new Smithy characters. Uh, all the toad, uh, I mean, like, the, the actual toads, not like the, those toads, but the, uh, the frogs, I guess, and tadpoles.
Yeah, so it was nice to finally beat this game. Uh, you know, I mentioned I played it a little bit as a kid uh, when I rented it, but I didn't get too far. And I was just renting it, so you know, I played it for a day or two, and then I had to bring it back. Uh, then I started it, I don't know, 15 years ago or something. Uh, got maybe one star, and then I got distracted and quit, so... Uh, and since I went through the other uh, two Paper Marios uh, recently, it was nice to go through this. Uh, there's quite a few other JRPGs on the SNES I want to go through as well that I've you know similarly started multiple times at various points. Uh, Tales of Fantasia and uh, Chrono Trigger are two that I've started and gotten partway through many times and then uh, you know, either died and lost a lot of progress and then quit or just you know been busy for a week or two with like school or work or whatever and then uh, gotten us on to some other game uh, you know and then just it's always kind of hard to get back to them once you've been not playing them for a couple weeks so yeah I but if I do like a let's play or something like this it kind of motivates me to actually keep going through them. So yeah, I, maybe in the future I'll do one of them. Uh, I found the combat in this, it wasn't, I don't know, this game wasn't as slow as, uh, for instance, when I did Pokemon there, like, uh, I had to use the fast forward in Pokemon, basically. It was just so mind-numbingly slow, uh, otherwise. Uh, but this one wasn't too bad. I found the combat, it it's a bit slow, but it moved along at a fair pace. So maybe the uh, maybe Chrono Trigger and uh, Tales of Fantasia wouldn't be so bad either. Alright, I guess that's the end. Uh, I, I wonder what... The, uh, I wonder what the end is... Like, if I get to go into New Game Plus, or I warp to, uh, outside. Because you do save, like, in the tower there, and I don't think you can leave the tower from that part. Like, I don't think you could backtrack all the way out and go back into the world, so... Like, if you did want to go and do, like, side stuff or whatever, you'd be screwed. You'd have to start file over again. I, yeah, it would be nice if it maybe just, I don't know, dropped you outside the tower at a save point or something. Alright, uh... I don't know if this just continues indefinitely. Uh, oh, well, I guess I'll cut off here, and uh, if it does uh, continue, I'll add that to the video or whatever. Alright, so I guess that was uh, Mario RPG.